private eye, gum shoot, a flat foot, a private dick, a gun for hire. Malone is not my real name, and San Francisco is not my real home. I used to be a copper, a policeman, a good one. I was made a hero for killing a man, and an ex-cop, and a dirty perverted invert, through loving one. I got the bums rush. I was arrested, ruined, disgraced, and run out of town. Oscar Wilde once said, it's an odd thing. But anyone who disappears is said to be seen in San Francisco. It must be a delightful city and possess all the attractions of the next world. Well, that's why I'm here in the city by the bay. It held attractions for a guy like me. I hung out my shingle and said about solving cases. The coppers don't care about. My newest case is personal. The cops say it's suicide and that he did the city a favor by managing to get himself waxed. Odd way to commit suicide by being covered in burn marks and being found in the locked trunk of a car. I knew better. I knew Donnie O'Reilly. You wouldn't expect him to be an invert. He was a muscle-bound palooka with a cheap suit and a chip on his shoulder. We met in one of those illegal gin joints where not so genteel gents go to find cheap bootleg hooch and a little buddy buddy slap and tickle companionship. Back in the dark corner, or out in the wet alley, a dark park maybe in a cheap filling station. You know away from the prying eyes of the coppers, the holy roller hypocrites and blue nosed prudes. We didn't get them. the less said the better, what we wanted, and what we did could put us behind the eight ball and end with us in the big house on Alcatraz Island. I didn't carry a torch for the guy or nothing like that. We had some giggles. Nothing serious. Actually the whole idea of romance and sitting up house gives me the heebie-jeebies, the jitters. But being keen on someone ain't no romance and it ain't no reason to be snuffed out. I will find the joke of this and we'll see Donnie get justice. <laughs>